I just finished uh, another second crystal radio and superficially it looks a lot like the first one I did. Uh, there's a difference here with a block of wood but that has to do with making the tuning smoother. Uh, I can show you some more detail on that uh, later. But uh, overall you know you've got this big coil wire back here, you got the tuner arm, down here you have a diode, over here you have a diode, uh, resistor over here and the earphones and resistor over here and the earphones. But that's really where the similarity ends. Yeah, there's a lot of similarity, but actually the circuit wiring is quite a bit different. Let me uh, give you, show you a close-up on that, and I will, uh, I will show you the differences on that. So this is the original one. If we ignore the tuning rod, we'll throw it out of the way over here somewhere. And the circuit looks basically like a big U. Uh, antenna comes in here, goes through the coil here, comes out here, goes through the resistor and the earphone, the earphones are off camera, uh, then through the diode and up to the tuning rod and out to the ground. So it's just a big U. So on the right side of the U here we have the coil, on the bottom side of the U we have the earphone and the resistor, on the left side of the U we have the diode and then the tuner rod and then the ground. So that's it, it's just a, a, a U shape. So this one is quite a bit different. Let's take the tuner out of the picture. This one is, instead of being a U-shaped, it's a W-shape. So we have the right side of the W here, which is this coil. And the coil has no connection up here, as you can see. The other one, the antenna comes in here, but there's no connection. And there's the coil on the right side. It comes across. It connects to the center of the W. The center of the W is the uh, ground input. So the ground input comes down here. Earphone and resistor, okay, that's similar across the bottom of the W. Here's the diode on the left side, and it goes up here and connects to the antenna. So that's also reversed on the other radio. It's uh, uh, an, uh, antenna here and ground here, but this one is antenna here and ground here. And also, this one, as, since it has no connection up here, the circuit is basically from this wire through the coil and this is the resonant part of the of the uh, circuit down here. So the other radio, the antenna comes into the top of the coil and everything above the wire, is, everything above the tuner is active with the antenna and everything below is active with the earphone and the, and the uh, decoding of the signal. But this one, the only thing that's active is this part below the tuner. So wherever the tuner is, this part is part of the circuit and this part up here isn't doing anything. So really a very different concept in the radio. Which one is better? Well, I honestly don't know. We'll have to set up a test and, and check that out. Let's take a quick look at how I redid the wiper. Uh, this is the old style over here. And you can see they're different. So let's take a look at how I did that. So you can see it's just a block of wood. It's uh, a little bit less than two inches tall. Uh, what you want it to be is you want it to be some significant height, part of the height of this uh, coil. And I think it's about one inch wide. But all I've done is, you can see it's screwed on the bottom with two brass screws. Brass isn't really important. But this bolt up on top goes all the way through and touches the wiring that goes over here and over here. So wire goes in here. It actually wraps around the head of this bolt, this carriage bolt. Bolt comes up through here, and what's special up here is I have a washer, a spring, a washer, the the rod. The rod goes in through there. Another washer. I use brass just for looks, and then the nut, and then I put some uh, fingernail polish to keep the nut from coming off. So that's the uh, special part of this. What it does is because of the uh, height of this, there's not you don't have to tighten it down so much and the action of the uh, rod is much smoother all the way across. The rod's shorter, the rod doesn't bend and, and release, bend and release, so the action's much smoother. But that's it. Uh, not much to it, but uh, that little trick uh, really makes it uh, nicer to operate. This is a a direct test of the uh, Boy Scout radio, modified Boy Scout radio, and this version. I've uh, installed a cheat. I'll show you in a second where I can compare directly these same exact things. You can listen. Here's the loudest. So 
that's the loudest uh, I can get from this. And if you look back here, what I've done is I've put in a second uh, connector. And what this connector back here does is it uh, connects to the end of the coil. So it's exactly like the modified Boy Scout radio. So I can compare the two directly by just moving the ground or the antenna from this point to this point. In this version, uh, this is the new version, and by connecting it back here, it works exactly like the Boy Scout, modified Boy Scout radio. Okay, so let's try both ways. I don't know about you, but I think the the connection in the back is louder. So this is the modified Boy Scout radio and I've tuned it to the loudest place so you can compare. So to me that's a lot louder. Uh, this design seems to uh, do a lot better pulling it in. These are the two radios we just compared. The one on the left is the modified Boy Scout radio and this is the one that's often sold as a kit called a Pickard and it's the W configuration, this is the U configuration and in every test for selectivity and loudness the modified Boy Scout radio won and even when I put this one in the modified Boy Scout configuration by using that clip in the back that I showed you the modified Boy Scout was uh, louder and just clearer all the way around so if you're going to build a crystal radio, I would recommend going with a modified Boy Scout radio. Well, that's it for today. I hope you found it interesting and useful in your crystal radio experiments.